So we want to reach all of our customers and we have to identify who our customers are, then work out the most cost-effective ways to reach all of them. The phrase I use is target the market. Yeah. Right? We don't need target marketing, we need to target the market. You need to know who is in your category. Yeah. Uh, women's clothes generally sell to women. And then the hard work begins of saying, well, how can I reach all these people as often as possible, you know, as much coverage and time. Yeah. Um, but you don't want a lot of frequency, you don't want to, unless you've got astonishing budgets, you don't want to waste money by hitting them twice in a day. You're saying look at your budget over a 12-month period and just be there consistently. Yes, I mean, we consistency is very important. Um, and there are all sorts of ways of being consistent while also being fresh. I mean, that's why you, you, know, you hire a clever advertising agency, but you tell them, you know, we, we must look like us. We still, still must be communicating the same thing, but do it in a nice, fresh way. So that's what Coca-Cola has been doing for decades. They've been saying the same thing over and over, in, but in nice, fresh ways. They don't change it up all that much. No, because um, what do, more do we need to know about Coca-Cola? Yeah. It's fun, it tastes good, when well, we know all these things. Uh, but they do need to keep telling us about it, because the, the typical, you know, the, 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 more than half of Coke's customer base only buy Coke about once or twice a year. I remember reading that in your book, and I was surprised to discover that. It's surprising, but it's the same. I mean, it's the same for all sorts of brands. So I guess what we're saying is that growing your brand isn't really rocket science. Well, rocket science is yeah, rocket science isn't rocket science. Uh, good science is is simple. Uh, it's about simplifying the world. Um, there is unfortunately a lot of marketing engineering. There's a lot of theory. It's, it's very medieval. I, I think uh, back in medieval days, people came up with all sorts of elaborate theories for explaining why people got sick, why the sun moved through the sky, all sorts of amazing elaborate theories, which 90% of them were just wrong because no one bothered to check. And marketing textbooks are very like that. Um, no one bothers to check. People say things and um, people accept them quite yeah. readily. Um, you'll hear things like, um, it's cheaper to retain customers than it is to acquire new customers. And people will nod their heads to this as if it's just gospel. It's not. Correct. What I've seen over the years, and I keep on seeing in marketing, is this herd mentality. It's a bit like the stock market. Currently, it's social media is where the herd is flocking to. Yes, yes, where, where people feel almost um, pressure to, you know, we must have a Facebook page and a, a social media presence. And, yeah. and you can ask people why, and the rationale is more, well, uh, everyone else seems to be doing it. Which actually isn't true because there's a, there's a little company that's quite successful. Um, I think they've just been announced as the most valuable brand in the world called Apple, who basically has no social media presence whatsoever. Doesn't seem to bother with it. So yeah, there's plenty of examples around where it doesn't seem to be true at all. Um, look, new media is exciting from a marketer's perspective because of uh, new ways of gaining reach, new ways of gaining continuity, um, probably our most powerful uh, media that, and, and still is today and most successful media is TV only costs a few cents to reach someone fantastic media uh, but, it, but it has probably its biggest flaw is that it's skewed to after dinner that's, just, that's where the bulk of the viewing occurs and for um, some products you can think well it'd be nice if we could also reach people at breakfast and other times during the day uh, and, and that's what opens up other media and, so, and new, lots of new media off, offers these sort of potentials. But we have to crunch the numbers and see whether it's worthwhile. Uh, and people just aren't doing that. I, or, or rather, the people out there baffling people with numbers. You know, I, I yeah. hear things all they'll say, well, you know, it's had, it's got, you know, um, 60,000 Facebook fans, mm -hmm. you know, or 60 million Facebook fans. And yeah. Either way, marketers say, wow, that's an amazing big number. But actually, if you, it's not, <laughs> if you equate that to, I mean, some of these numbers are equivalent to, advertising on Newcastle TV at two in the morning. Yeah. Uh, it's not that. I mean, Coke sells, I think, 1.7 billion serves, I think it is, a day. Uh, they've got one of the biggest Facebook presences, which is something like uh, 40 million or something. But 40 million out of 1.7 billion, it's, it's not much. A it's yeah. a slight drop in the ocean. Yes. I guess what you're also saying is that television is still one of the most powerful and cost-effective mediums. Yes, I mean, again, uh, look, I, I'm media agnostic. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's no. about media. It's about working out the, the costs. Um, I get 
uh, dismayed when I hear um, marketers say things like, oh, well, you know, I couldn't afford TV. And you go, well, have you checked? Yeah. Because it doesn't actually cost that much. I, mean, I have a friend who runs a business and she ran a TV campaign. Um, and it was $10,000, including production. Yeah. Uh, you know, you can often. But it's right. a, so don't ever strike out any media. Look at what sort of, is it, how many of the people I need to reach will it reach? And uh, particularly, does it accumulate over time? If I, if I place an ad here and then two weeks later I place another ad, do I reach some new people so my reach just keeps yeah. growing? Uh, and against those criteria, TV actually looks usually very, very good. Professor, uh, I loved your book, um, How Brands Grow. Uh, it's been uh, it's been refreshing to read something that's um, uh, it will help us to simplify um, how we should uh, market brands. Um, this book is available on uh, Amazon. Is that the best place to to find it? Yeah, Amazon.com, and it's um, How Brands Grow by Professor Byron Sharp. Professor, thank you very much uh, for sharing uh, your thoughts and, sp and spending the time with us today. Thank you, Jeremy. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.